So I'm soldering uh, the wires to the connection that goes to um, the battery. This is ESC, this electronic speed controller. And generally the project is going okay. We've finished manufacturing the wings today. We're just wrapping them now. Now all we have to do is manufacture the tail, finish the landing gear, and hopefully we're ready to fly on Friday. So me and Sam here are running the avionics for our team. Uh, it's basically all the electronics inside the drone that allowed it to fly with sustained flight. So it's everything from the motor to the flight controller. Uh, it's back to the ground station, which is our laptop. Uh, today we're trying to get the telemetry unit working. Uh, that's what's communicating between the drone and the ground station. Uh, we're having some issues with it, but we're making progress. I'm on the electronics, so I have to make everything work in terms of the motor and the servos and the signals, making sure everything works. Our team's been split into two. So we've got uh, motor mounting and servo mounting going on on one side, and this is taping the wings for uh, streamlining and obviously making it look good as well. The initial plan was a bit different, but while we were making it, we realised we needed some extra holes, we needed some more space for the electronics inside. So as we were manufacturing them, the ideas were developing, and it's good how all six of us come together, everyone's got different ideas, and as the project progresses, we kind of develop new things and just make it better. I think everything, everyone's got a chance at flying this year. Uh, I think everyone's tried really hard, and yeah, fingers crossed we get some up in the air. So our plane is McDonald's themed um, and it's basically been designed over the course of the past year using all the skills that we've learned through years one to three. Um, we were kind of came together as a team from avionics, from aeromechanics, materials and we were able to come together and build a fully functioning and flying UAV. We've just taken this out for a fly and it performed pretty well. We um, got a couple of loop-the-loops out of it and a nice clean takeoff and landing. So yeah, pretty chuffed in the end. Uh, comparing to some of the other designs we were a bit worried at first but um, after a bit of a, a bit of trouble with the landing gear down here, it finally got going, and uh, yeah, it took off really well, really stable. At one point, the uh, the pilot had his hands off the controllers, and they were still flying perfectly well. So uh, yeah, really happy with it, actually. One or two of them today felt like commercial models that you could go and buy from the shop, whereas some of them are very unusual, but they still feel nice to fly. One of them did fly quite nicely, uh, but there was a little bit of an elevator issue, and midway through the flight, it just um, decided to stall. Uh, at which point it's straight down to the ground and out. It's a shame, because it had potential, really good. It's been really nice, um, good weather as well, and it's good fun watching everyone else's planes fly around. So yeah, it's been a really enjoyable day out. Seeing it actually go into the air and seeing all that work pay off is a great feeling, but overall, no, really great day, really great course, enjoying it. I think the students have had a great camaraderie, because when they've come out, they've all been watching each other fly, and when the teams come out onto the flight line, you can see they're very nervous, because obviously they've been watched by their classmates, but as fail or succeed, they get a great round of applause either way, so there's obviously a really nice atmosphere from them. The quality of the work is, is really, really good. And not only I had the opportunity to get a presentation, but then I probed them, I asked questions, just like we would in the industry. And the whole point of the project is to to allow the students to learn um, in a real situation. So by getting some industrial feedback from us, it may feel a bit harsh at the time because we're quizzing them. Uh, we're asking them questions that they're going to get asked at interviews. We're asking them questions that they're going to get asked by their future managers. Uh, so really, it's one, one, the first step to really preparing them to be interview ready and to be industry ready as well. You've got manufacturing, you've got um, systems engineering, you've got electronic specialists, you've got aerodynamicists. This is as close to industry as you will get. And this simulates a very real design life cycle uh, that you will see in industry.